اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم و صلی اللہ علیہ نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم Our topic today, what we'll be saying today will be on Your Lord did not forget you You are not forgotten by your Lord Sometimes once living becomes hard That is one encounters hardship in his living What will now be like? Has my Lord forgotten me? Did my Lord forget me? Is not knowing my state Is not knowing my position but it's always a lie your lord did not forget you in a second he doesn't forget you the question now is are we truly remembered by god almighty Allah? yes we are remembered by him there is a verse in the other quran that surah the ballad the eighth ayat the eighth verse ayat eight god said alam naji allahu aynayn wa lisanen God said, Alam ni diala wa inen. In the Tefsir Arabi das Tefsir Muyasar, what we can see there is that Alam ni diala wa inen alaz yebso ubiya. I will not want to give him two eyes that he sees with. We give him two eyes that he sees with because there is difference between eyes and seeing. The characteristics of eyes is to see. The characteristics of ear. Is to hear. So some have eyes, but what they did not see anything. It's the basal, this spirit of seeing that the Lord Almighty Allah has removed from their eyes. Some have ears also. Their eyes are not cut off. They have both ears truly, but they don't hear with their two ears. Why? Is the spirit of hearing, the zero of hearing, zero sandwich that God Almighty Allah has removed from their two years. That's why they are deaf. And some have mouth. They have the 32 teeth that you also have. They have the tongue. They have the two lips. But they can't talk. They are dumb. It's the spirit, the secret, the secret of talking that God Almighty Allah removed from their mouth. Why will you forget that Lord? The Lord that created you, that gave you two eyes, that gave you a tongue and what and two lips that knows your creation that knows the beginning of your creation that's why god almighty allah said in surah to gaffer the 60th verse verse 60 ayah 60 saying it can only as the call me request from me as the i will answer you when you pray to me when you call me i will answer you so god almighty allah has made us his promise between him and his creatures that's why one of us said in his abiyat saying lama wa anta jami al khaliki an naka tunti kullu man qadida fil ayya allah that whoever calls you you've made that promise that we answer him so we've gotten examples in the holy quran like the prophet musa alayhi salatu wasalam in surah al qasas saying Call a rubble in the name of Allah to Allah and make him fakir. That's the prayer he did. That's the prayer he made when he had nothing. When Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, when he called Almighty Allah on that very day due to his position, he stated that very moment. He said, "Rubble in the name of Allah to Allah and make him fakir." God answered him that was the best that you could send. Was the best of good that you could send to me right now? Make him fakir that. He is having nothing that very day. God answered his prayer that very day. And we saw a verse in the Holy Quran, the Surah to Tauba, the 40th ayah, verse 14. Than his name is whom of the girl is Yakul Sohibi La Tazan in the Lama and Fanzal Law Sekinata Wali. That's the example of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the pit with Abu Bakri. When Abu Bakr was afraid, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told Abu Bakr, "La tazan, don't be frightened, don't be sudden, don't be disheartened. The Lord Almighty Allah is with us. In Allah, man." And God Almighty Allah sent down His sekina, fanzal Allah sekina taawali. That is um, that rest of mind that they won't be frightened anymore. That God Almighty Allah is with them. We also had the example of Prophet Yunus alayhi salatu wasallam. 
the Surah al the 87th ayah, ayah 87 verse 87, is saying, What that not is the Habam Gadiba, Allah Nakhtiru Ali, Fanada of his Zulmat, and La Ilaha Ila Anta, Subhana Kaini Kontumna Zulim. Is in three Zulmat, three darkness, the darkness of fish, the darkness of the ocean, that's water or river, and the darkness of the night. Three darkness, he called his Lord inside that ocean with that depth of the ocean with him inside the fish inside the whale he called God Almighty God Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the three darkness God Almighty Allah answered him and the example another example is that of Prophet Ayub alayhi salatu wa salam he's saying wa yuba ibn darubahu anima saniyatu wanta rahama rohimi fastajabna lahu fakashafna mabihi midurin Watina wa ala wa misla wa rahmatan min indina wa dhikru lila abidin. That's another example of Prophet Ayub alayhi salatu wasalam. When he called God Almighty Allah, when he was experiencing bad thoughts, negativity in his life, when all his bodies are decaying, when he's getting rot. He called God Almighty Allah, God Almighty Allah answered him. So it's expected of us to call God Almighty Allah. That's called Zikru al Remembering God of your state, your position, where you are, the bad experience you are having, the negativity of your life. You should call him and tell him. So that applies to a prayer point of the Aliya Allah, the saints of God, the men of God, Aliya Allah, Rijal Allah. They call that prayer point Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. That's the name for, him, for that kitab self, for that book of secrets. Subhana man yaroni. The same day goes as those. Subhana man yaroni wa yesmu kalami. Wa yarifu makani. Au wa yala makani. Wa thkuruni wa la yansani wa rzukuni. Na subhana man yaroni. I glorify the Lord that sees me. Wa yesmu kalami. I glorify the Lord that hears me. Wa yarifu makani. I glorify the Lord that what? That knows my position. That knows my state. Wa thkuruni wa was called me while I am son. Oh Lord, to remember me, don't forget me. That's the saying. What should they remember you with? If you need money, tell it God that I should give you money, he'll give you. Like this example, was called me while I am son, was Zukni. What they have appraised with this is risical. That's wealth. That's money that God should give them wealth, should give them money. If you need knowledge, tell your Lord. That's an example that's probably sitting in an element. Tell him to give you knowledge, he will give you. If you are experiencing any bad thoughts or bad experiences or negativities in your life, tell God Almighty Allah to save you from bad omens and will save you from that. We pray to God Almighty Allah, all we ask of Him, He should give us. Mr. Fatih, Salat al Fatih. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Rahman, Rahim, Maliki, Omitin, Yaya, Kanabu, Yaya, Kanasin, Yidna, Surat al Mustaqim, Surat al Islam, Tarin, Yurum, Dubai, Ramad, Dolin, اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الفاصل المغلق ولا خاتم سبق نسل الله كبير الحق ولا هادي إلى سرطك المستقيم وعلى آله أكبر من دل العظيم سبحان ربك رب العزة ميسفون والسلام على المسلمين وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم